Hello fellow mystics, welcome and thank you for stopping by to my channel, Diaries of a Luna Soul. So this is an impromptu reading that my spirit guides literally forced me to do. I wasn't planning on doing a love reading anytime soon or in the near future, but for some reason I couldn't ignore the strong urge for my guides to record. In fact, I'm recording this at night. <laughs> That's how urgent this is. I never record at night because I don't like the shadows that appear in the video. I prefer natural lighting. But alas, today I had to record this at night. So just try to ignore the shadows in the video. And there's a tiny little dog outside, my neighbor's dog, that keeps on barking at night. So just ignore those sounds and also ignore the shadows. So if you see shadows as you see these shadows that you're seeing in this reading as your spirit team hovering above us and blessing the reading with their presence <laughs> and see that and feel that dog that is barking in the background as your spirit animal <laughs> blessing your reading anyway so the reason my guides forced me to do this reading is because for the last couple of days i would say maybe three or three two to three days I have been feeling like the energy of the single people, the single soul family that I normally tap into, have been somewhat hope, feeling hopeless about their love life and how it's unfolding or not unfolding. And you feel like you have done your inner work and healed the traumas that you feel were preventing you from manifesting a healthy love life. But now your, your patience is just sort of running out and you feel like your efforts will not... You feel like your efforts will not yield any results yeah and so much so that right now you're on the verge of giving up on this spiritual journey of trying to find your sacred romantic partner and so if this sounds like you then this nighttime reading <laughs> is meant for you okay so i've already i've already shuffled the cards off camera to save on time and also given the gravity of the situation this is you wanting to give up on your love life i wanted to take a few hours to meditate with the cards so that i ensure that the spirit messages coming through are clear and exactly what you need to hear sometimes when when doing live readings this is when you shuffle on camera the we can we can often miss to notice important details in a particular card and hence the message that comes through can be incomplete in some sort of way okay so once in a while i like to do readings like this one here where i've already shuffled the cards off camera then spend some time analyzing the cards and contemplating on the messages before sharing the reading with you guys and i and i did this because i wanted this reading to be as in-depth and detailed as possible plus I've also done so many live readings for you guys. By now, I'd like to believe that you trust the messages that come through from me, from your guides, and from my own spirit team. So I, I can get a pass for this one. I don't have to shuffle on camera. Just trust that the messages that come through are authentic and meant for you. Okay? But if at any point in time you feel like the messages don't resonate, please feel free to stop watching don't force the messages to make sense okay let your intuition guide you this is a general reading and not all messages will make sense for you so take what resonates and leave what doesn't okay and the timestamps to the different sections of the reading are in the description box below so feel free to jump to the different sections that most resonate with you although i hope that at some point it, it, it would be nice if you watch the entire reading at some point so as to get a more holistic reading. Okay, right. With that said, let's begin. So, for your, for your... So, this reading is all about what you need to know about your love life, okay? So, we have the Two of Cups, the Page of Wands, and the Four of Swords. As much as I shuffle these cards off camera, I've, I've done so many readings that sometimes I forget even the cards that came through. Anyway, but the messages that 
I need to relay through these cards is still in my head. So yeah. <laughs> so right, so what do you need to know about your love life? So for one, the theme of your reading was this page of wands. I'm trying to not make sure the card doesn't reflect across the card. Oh my god. <laughs> Recording at night is so difficult. <laughs> Anyway, we'll make it through. So this page of wands over here in the middle is your card. Today I'm using a very tiny little deck. I'm using the mini deck for the everyday tarot cards. I don't know, I just felt called to use a smaller deck. Yeah, anyway, so page of wands is the theme of your reading. And the message that came through when I was meditating with this card is that your spirit guides are actually saying that your love life and your spiritual mission work are intertwined, okay? And this is because the page of wands in tarot usually represents a young person going on a solo journey to discover their purpose here on earth and usually it carries with it uh, a spirit that the purpose they're looking to find out is more of a spiritual nature rather than an earthly purpose okay and that's why and it's a and it's a solo journey and that's why this person and their companion are sort of going in different directions yeah saying hey you go find out what you're meant to be as a cat and i'll go find out what i'm meant to be as a human being okay so the message coming through here with this page of wands because the page of wands is a kind of going on a spiritual on a journey to find out what your spiritual purpose is here on earth and it's come up in a reading that is regarding your love life so i'm joining the two and the messages that i, I got from this was that your love life whatever it is that your love life will turn out to be like your love life and your spiritual mission work are very much intertwined in fact I have a strong feeling that some of you are actually on a on a twin flame journey meaning you're meant to unite with your twin flame in this lifetime to fulfill a spiritual mission that will uplift Earth's vibration when it comes to matters of love in other words you're 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 a star seed on a mission to increase the energy of love on earth and Twin flames are always together in the spirit realm. Always together. They're never apart in the spirit realm. They're always together. So there's usually no need for them to reunite in the physical plane. I mean, they're always together in the spirit realm. So why should they reunite again in the physical plane? Because for them, 80 years, like or rather 100 years on earth is like 10 minutes in the spirit realm. So if, a, if one of their partners, come, if their partner comes to earth to maybe just try and learn a, a, a certain humanly lesson for for the twin that is left in the spirit realm that twin twin who ended up spending a hundred years on earth to that twin flame who's in the spirit realm that twin has probably just gone away for 10 minutes yeah so there's no need for them to re, to follow each other even on earth because they're constantly together right so there's usually no need for them to reunite in the physical plane the only time they reunite in the physical plane is when one of the twins has taken up a spiritual mission that requires the help of the other twin. Like this spiritual mission is so huge that one twin cannot accomplish it on their own. And so they require the help of the other twin. And so in this instance, that's what I feel like is happening with you. You and your twin flame decided to reincarnate in this lifetime together to help each other raise the vibration of love on planet Earth for future generations to come which arguably isn't an easy fit yeah it's not easy to accomplish raising the vibration of love on earth as it is already it's so difficult to find true love on earth right so that is why you needed each other that's why you reincarnated you decided you'd reincarnate in this lifetime together that's why your love life and your spiritual mission work are interconnected because you are on a twin flame journey and if you don't believe in the concept of twin flames probably this is one way of, a, of your spirit guide saying hey perhaps it's time for you to look into this notion do your research and read more about the twin flame journey because you are a twin flame okay and it's time for you to maybe be open-minded to this notion okay that is if you if in the past you've not been one who thinks uh, this twin flame thing exists okay <laughs> yeah so that's the theme of your reading that your love life and your spiritual mission work here on earth what you decided to accomplish here on earth are one in the same they're very interconnected you're on a twin flame journey okay so now that we know 
this is a twin flame journey and that your love life and spiritual mission work are interconnected let's now see uh what will be your greatest greatest challenge on this spiritual love journey and you got the tw- two of cups <laughs> so fitting that this card came up in your reading about love yeah i hope you can see the images it's so fitting i wasn't surprised when i saw this card <laughs> but then i was surprised that it came in this position where it's the greatest challenge okay usually this is a very auspicious card it's a good card when it appears in a reading it shows something good like a blessing it's a soulmate partnership love so when it comes in this position of what are the greatest challenges you face on this journey on your twin flame journey on your journey towards finding love yeah the the message coming through here is you will encounter many challenges or obstacles before you finally meet your twin flame. <laughs> it will be really difficult for you to find your twin flame. Not impossible, just difficult. So what I'm trying to say is in other words finding your true love will not be easy for you. And for some of you it may the, the way it will be difficult is that it may take you longer than other people to finally settle down, okay? Some of you may reunite with your twin flame much later in life. So at, at least much later than you had anticipated. For example, if your goal was to settle down and get married by 28, with this card being in this position, I highly doubt that your original plan of settling down in tw- at 28 will work out. Instead, what I'm getting here is you may end up meeting your person later on, like probably when you're 34 or even 38. Yeah, You'll meet, but later on in life, okay? And this is just an example of one of the obstacles you may encounter. It doesn't mean that everyone listening to this reading will settle down and get married later in life. The point I'm trying to make here, the salient point I'm trying to make here is finding your twin flame so that you can begin your spiritual mission work of raising the vibration of love on earth will not be easy. There will be days when you will cry blood, metaphorically speaking, okay? But so but the other the other message please don't be discouraged by what i'm saying here because as i said before the two of cups is an auspicious card meaning although in this context or position it implies that you will face great challenges it also shows that eventually you will find a way to overcome these challenges okay your soul cannot this is love okay you're together here you will find a way to overcome these challenges your soul cannot make your human self embark on an impossible mission okay meaning when you and your twin flame agreed to descend to earth and help raise the vibration of love on the planet you also ensured that your human self would have all the resources it needs to successfully accomplish your mission okay no obstacle that comes your way will be insurmountable Yes, it will be tough to overcome these obstacles, but your higher self here with these two of cups is saying or wants to assure you that there's light at the end of the tunnel, okay? (laughs) There's there's like sunlight here. You will emerge victorious, okay? So don't give up or lose hope. There's sunlight here. I don't know whether this is sunrise or sunset, but I think people normally drink wine at night isn't it but wait (laughs) there's some people who drink wine in the morning so regardless of whether this is sunset or sunrise there's light here meaning there's light at the end of the tunnel so regardless of the obstacles you go through you will emerge victorious okay you will overcome them so please don't lose hope okay this card is also saying don't lose hope it's a doubled edged sword card it's saying you will face obstacles but please don't lose hope there's light at the end of the tunnel okay so yeah so now that we know you're going to, you will face some great challenges on your journey to finding love. Let's now see what is the outcome of this journey. What blessings should you expect if you stick with this journey and don't give up due to the challenges or obstacles you face? And you got the Four of Swords. The Four of Swords. I hope you can see the images. Anyway, if you can't see the images, I'll try and explain them verbally. <laughs> If I knew I was going to record at night, I would not have picked a small deck. I would have picked a a deck that has full-size tarot cards. But yeah, anyway. So probably maybe this is your guys trying to show me the challenges that you'll face, okay? 
yeah anyway so you got the four of swords and the message that came through here with this four of swords is that the heartbreak you will have experienced due to the obstacles you face on your journey to finding your twin flame or true love are not permanent they will dissipate okay they will disappear at some point okay the card before this one is usually the three of swords which usually represents heartbreak in fact i think i removed it at some point let me show you what that card the three of swords card me looks like uh where is it yeah here it is so you see this is the three of swords card seeing this image it's it it there's a there's a love heart over here if you can see there's a heart and the, these three swords are piercing the sword the the heart meaning heartbreak okay something heartbreaking to the point where that you're even journaling okay that essentially the three of swords normally represents heartbreak okay and the so to me this three of swords card represents the heartbreak you will go through on your journey to finding love and as i said for some of you the heartbreak this heartbreak here may represent may present itself as delayed love this is getting married or finding your twin flame much later in life than you had expected but with this four of swords here the other message coming through is for some of you the obstacle you will face on your journey towards finding your twin flame or your true love or your sacred soulmate is you will find yourself in rather tumultuous and toxic relationships and because the four of swords in tarot usually represents this card here usually represents a person who is now resting are you saying they're resting they're resting see they have put down their swords yeah they're resting after a long and tough battle of war okay and but the other message i'm getting here is how regardless of how these toxic relationships will literally be a training ground for you to learn what a healthy and unhealthy relationship look like and feel like in fact let me put this here because it's part of the challenges let me not return it, it it's it's contributing to the energy of this reading so these toxic relationships that you will you will end up in will be a training ground for you to learn what a healthy and an unhealthy relationship should look like and feel like okay in other words you will find yourself in toxic relationships so that you can learn how to set healthy boundaries with yourself and the people you care about. In essence, it will be a trial by fire. But as I said, these obstacles will not be insurmountable. You will overcome them, okay? You will overcome them. See, she's sleeping. There's no way you can sleep this peacefully here if you haven't overcome the obstacles of the day, isn't it? And it's interesting here in the Two of Cups, I said this was probably like uh, sunlight, isn't it? And here there's the moon. So this is sort of like the challenges you go through throughout the day. And then after, at the end of the day, you come back and you just relax, okay? Because now you've conquered the world, but now you're coming back home to relax. And that's the energy that is coming up from these four of swords. The outcome is that, okay? You will overcome these these um, obstacles. And as I said, this four of swords just proves my point. At the end of this journey, you will attain inner peace. This girl is so is in so much peace. You will have mastered self-love. Yeah? And you will be able to... You will be in a place where you do not need... Um, I'm trying to find the words. You do not need any external stimuli to make you happy. Okay? See, this girl is alone. She doesn't need anyone else to make her feel inner peace. Okay? You will not need external stimuli to make you happy. You will be so content with who you are and your life that you won't even yearn for your twin flame as you do now <laughs> or your sacred soulmate or your romantic partner. Right now, the reason you're watching this video, I have a feeling the reason you're watching this video is because you're still subconsciously or perhaps even consciously longing to finally manifest your one true love and you're trying to figure out you're trying to grasp any sort of hope that you can get along your way of figuring out how to manifest a soulmate, yeah? But the funny thing is, at the end of this love journey, with this four of swords here, it's saying, at the end of this love journey, this is once you overcome the obstacles put on your path, 
towards finding your twin flame, your secret soulmate, you'll get to this point here, to a point where you realize that you don't need anyone or anything to make you happy. Okay? And and then guess what? <laughs> it is at, at this exact moment, this exact moment here, when you realize you don't need anyone or anything but yourself to make you happy, that is when your twin flame will arrive in your life. So ironic, right? <laughs> Normally, twin flames come into each other's lives when they have truly mastered the principle of self-love. Each of them has truly mastered the principle of self-love. I have a reading in my channel called The Journey to Sacred Union, The Five Stages. When you get time, please watch it because I'll put a link to it in the description box. You, 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 I, I, in that reading, I think I talked about the, the whole process of finding your yourself, self-love, sacred union with self before you find sacred union with someone else, okay? But bottom line is anyone who comes into your life before you have truly mastered the art of self-love is usually more often than not a karmic soulmate and not your twin flame. Those two terms are very different. Karmic and a twin flame are very different, okay? And there's this misconception in the spiritual community that twin flame relationships are always tumultuous. But I disagree with this notion. Given the information I've been given by my spirit guides about this journey, I know that when two twins who have done their inner healing work and have mastered the art of self-love come together or finally reunite, that relationship will literally feel like heaven on earth. It will not be tumultuous. And there's so many um, twin flame journey myths out there that I'd like to debunk now. But I won't do that in this reading because I don't want this reading to be too long and I want to sleep. <laughs> so one day I'll sit down and do a proper reading on the twin flame journey. For now, let me get back to your reading, this one here. So as I was saying, if you stick with this journey and don't give up, this four of swords says you will eventually manifest your twin flame and you will manifest them effortlessly okay see this girl is doing nothing she's just sleeping <laughs> you'll manifest your twin flame effortlessly you won't need to do anything to find them they will literally appear in your life like magic <laughs> in divine timing so for now just focus on overcoming these obstacles on your path and one way to overcome them is by being self-confident, believing in your ability to overcome any problem along your path and stop worrying about how to manifest your soulmate. We've already seen here, it'll happen effortlessly. You don't need to do anything for you to manifest them, okay? I have a feeling that most of you have been trying to figure out ways to manifest your romantic soulmate and because none of these ways have worked out for you thus far, that is why right now you're contemplating on giving up yeah you're doing too much <laughs> literally spirit is telling you here this journey doesn't require you to do anything for the, your twin flame to come to you you don't need to run after them okay they will just appear in your life you don't need to chase them like this card here are you saying not bothered you go your way i'll go my way <laughs> eventually maybe this is a circle maybe they'll they'll come back full circle and meet each other again okay and that's what you're being told stop worrying about the how okay so with this four of swords your higher self is saying dear mystic you do not have to do anything to manifest your twin flame they will appear in your life through a series of synchronistic chain of events i'm seeing this moon and the stars here as a synchronistic chain of events orchestrated by your higher self and your spirit team so you just focus on the what meaning focus on holding on to your vision. Are you seeing? She's like, she's holding on to her vision, her dreams. She's saying she's not going to let them go. She's dreaming about them, yeah? She's not letting them go. But she's also saying, as much as I want this dream to manifest, I won't, I will not pressure the universe to bring it in my ego timing. Everything will happen in divine timing, yeah? With the moon and the stars, okay? So you just focus on the what. Focus on holding on, on to your vision of manifesting your twin flame and leave the how to the universe, okay? In fact, if anything, the only thing you need to do is work on integrating the lesson of self-love and your twin flame will magically appear in your life finally. If you focus on yourself, your twin flame will appear. Funny enough, if you focus on your twin flame, this journey will be much, much harder, 
okay but if you focus on yourself it will be very easy for you to manifest your twin flame because they'll literally appear in your life like magic okay spirit will do the hard work for you right so before we wrap up this reading with final guidance i don't know how long this reading was or oh, 24 ah, okay i've tried <laughs> i thought it would be longer so before we wrap up this reading with final guidance from your spirit guides let's see what more your higher self wants to reveal about the information that has already come through from these three cards here rather these four cards here what more information is there for them for you to know and you got the the nine of swords underneath the two of cups the magician underneath the page of wands and the hierophant underneath the four of swords so with this magician card the message that came through immediately when i was looking at it was that this card appearing in your reading implies that you are a very powerful manifester you are a very very powerful manifester and but the thing is you don't even know it you don't know how powerful you are okay you can manifest anything you think about can come into fruition in an in like the snap of your fingers okay <laughs> see tip of his fingers just anything they manifest can come into their their line of sight with the snap of your fingers okay you're a very powerful magician very very powerful manifester but you don't know it you're capable of manifesting your deepest desires more effortlessly than the people around you okay but you still haven't master this skillfully maybe once in a while you notice this maybe once in a while you realize hey okay sometimes when i think about something it happens the next day or when i wish for something it happens the next day but you've never really paid attention and realized that it happens that quickly because you are a powerful manifester and if you if you paid more attention to this skill and you honed it then you, most of the things you desire in life would come to you more effortlessly because it's a skill it's a soul gift you have but you still haven't mastered it fully okay so this twin flame journey, it appearing right underneath this card where I said it's a twin, it's symbolizing your twin flame journey with this page of wands. This card appearing right underneath your that card means this twin flame journey is literally helping you hone in on your manifesting skills. This experience of you finding your true love, your sacred soulmate, your high level soulmate, your twin flame is sharpening your manifestation skills. Okay. In other words, the process of you finding your twin flame is, is actually a manifestation game that your higher self is making you take part in so that you can finally realize just how good you are at manifesting things. You are a magician, okay? It's a game. You're being taken. This journey that you've embarked on, this one here, is a game. Your higher self is trying to make you realize just how good you are. Your soul has the power to materialize all your intangible ideas into tangible objects in an instant okay better than anyone around you okay other people can do it but you can do it better than them okay that's what i'm saying you're a very powerful manifester but your human self has forgotten you have this power and so this twin flame journey is also designed to help you finally remember how to tap into this powerful gift running through your veins guys <laughs> yeah but i guess but i'm sensing also that i'm sensing that you will experience the true greatness of this gift when you finally meet your 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 your, your twin flame when you finally meet your secret partner it's, I, I have this sense that your twin flame or your secret partner their presence in your life will amplify this gift within you okay when you finally meet them is when you finally truly discover how powerful you are okay but right now you can also feel it you can also double in it and, and test it out but you will truly feel its magnitude when you finally meet your soulmate okay but this journey in itself of finding your soulmate of finding your twin flame is actually also helping you sharpen this manifestation gift you have within you okay that's the message i'm getting here and then with this nine of swords being underneath the two of cups which was the uh what what was the section for what are the challenges you'll experience on your journey towards finding your twin flame so yeah this this nine of swords just emphasizes what i said before that this will not be an easy journey are you seeing how this lady is in anguish <laughs> she looks so stressed out yeah so it'll not as i said it will not be an easy journey 
you will encounter some really really tough obstacles on your path that will cause you to even want to give up like what you feel like right now but you will and you have all the resources you need to overcome these obstacles okay but the other message also coming through here is that one of the main obstacles that will make this journey even more challenging for you is yourself <laughs> this is sort of like tough love here because the nine of swords is usually a card of self-sabotage okay so the message coming through here is above all the obstacles you you will face you will be your own worst enemy <laughs> this is tough love guys so and in particular your tendency to want to know every single detail of a plan before acting or taking action will be your downfall see in this image i'm seeing books here okay so many books like she's been reading all these books trying to figure out she's trying to figure out something by reading these books right she's trying to get all the information she requires by reading these books but for some reason she's just not getting what she needs yeah but she can't stop she just keeps on reading every single book okay so with this image here i'm getting the feeling that most of you are <laughs> are almost like control freaks <laughs> you hate not knowing uncertainty makes you feel anxious agitated and helpless just like this girl over here and you always try to so because you don't want to feel anxious because of uncertainty you always try to research as much as you can before taking any action okay you try to find out all the details about something before deciding whether it's the right thing for you or whether you should take action but funny thing is it's it, it's it's good to do your own research there's a virtue in making sure that you know the details before taking action you don't want to prematurely end up taking an action and then regret later yeah but in this instance your higher self is wants to remind you that your twin flame journey of finding love or finding true love is one that will be riddled with a lot of uncertainties meaning more often than not on this journey to finding your twin flame or secret partner or romantic partner or soulmate you will not have a clue as to how things will turn out and the reason i'm saying this is because if you look at this card here which was the one that signified you on a twin flame journey and is the theme of your reading are you saying in this card you can't really tell what is happening in this card yeah what is you don't really know what's going on what are these two communicating is this does this card want this guy to go there and so that they can use that direction they can follow that direction or is this card is this guy wanting the, the companion the card to come towards him so that they can continue on this other direction and you don't even know what the outcome is will who will finally give in and move to the other direction you don't know right there's so much uncertainty in this card you don't know what's going on in this card right and that's exactly what your twin flame journey is about that's what your higher self is trying to remind you it's riddled with a lot of uncertainty so this habit of yours of wanting to know everything before you take action is going to be your downfall it's not ideal in this situation it's ideal in other things but not in this situation okay <laughs> so this to me means your effort of wanting to know when you will meet your twin flame or how you will meet them or how they look like etc are going to lead you to a dead end okay and cause you to feel even more helpless just like this girl over here she's tried reading all the books she can in this world to figure out something but still not helping out she's still as sad as she was before yeah so that's the other message coming through here tough love but i know you can handle it so you need to get out of your own way okay if you have been trying to figure out when or how you will meet your twin flame or how they look like then it's time for you to stop <laughs> as this this incessant need to know is only making your journey more difficult and unbearable okay as i said as shown in this nine of swords card this lady is in anguish okay because of wanting to know everything but there's some things that are meant to stay unknown for a period of time okay let divine timing reveal the information you need to know you don't need to go chasing every little rabbit hole okay just sometimes be okay with be okay with not knowing okay so this twin flame journey requires you to be open minded and trust that spirit your higher self has got your back and will guide you down the right path okay so as i said be okay with not knowing go with the flow and trust that and trust in the unknown okay that is your secret to overcoming these obstacles you you will face along your journey to finding true love or your twin flame okay 
then with this hierophant here underneath the four of swords which is the position of where we talked about the outcome of your journey this is what will what are the blessings you should expect once you've overcome these ob obstacles and you haven't given up on this journey and when i looked at when i saw this card underneath the four of swords i laughed i i literally laughed in joy like those ones of like aha uh -huh, my spirit guys are just sort of being so on point here because the image is that this image of the hierophant is a literal representation of what i said here with the four of, of, of swords that at the end of this journey at the end of this journey if you stick with this journey and you don't give up you will attain long lasting peace okay see these people in this card are literally meditating and doing yoga in this hierophant card isn't it which and yoga and meditation are actions that symbolize the attainment of inner peace yeah the attainment of inner peace okay and so all the heartbreak all this heartbreak you've experienced here with the three of swords and the two of cups here all this heartbreak and sleepless nights you're going through right now on your journey to finding your twin flame or your true love are only temporary at the end of this journey once you have integrated the spiritual lessons you need to learn on this love journey you will experience so much bliss so much bliss beyond what you could have ever imagined okay with this hierophant card here because you will have finally manifested your true love your efforts will not be futile okay all your hard work will pay off all that inner work you've done on yourself of integrating self-love will pay off okay because the hierophant card usually represents spiritual lessons and in this position of the outcome it implies that at the end of this journey you will have successfully integrated all the lessons you need to learn in order to finally reunite with your soulmate okay and as i said earlier one of those lessons is the lesson of self-love which is actually depicted here by the symbols of these people doing yoga and this person even sleeping on their own yeah yoga and meditation allow us to go deep within ourselves to find bliss rather than to find bliss from external stimuli yeah which is exactly what the four swords card also image is also symbolizing isn't it this person here has put down their swords the swords are here they've put down their swords and the swords here symbolize external stresses of the world so they have put their swords down and have retreated to their bed they've retreated to their bed they put here's the swords the swords are down and the broom she's not going anywhere anytime soon and they've retreated to their bed so that they can block out the external world and regain peace their peace of mind from within themselves okay with this hierophant card here going within to find bliss rather than trying to find bliss from external stimuli okay so the messages coming from these two cards are perfectly in sync <laughs> in this outcome card here with the four of swords and the hierophant wow and sometimes when i shuffle cards off camera to save on time but it's times like this when two synchronized cards like these two come up that i wish i had shuffled them on camera <laughs> so that you see the synchronicity and my excited reactions live yeah as they happen because i was so elated when i saw the hierophant coming just underneath the four of swords but yeah <laughs> anyway for today you just have to take my word for it and know that i was so excited <laughs> and your spirit is also excited yeah so now i think we can end this reading i don't want this reading to be too long gosh 38 minutes so let's now end this reading with a guidance from your spirit guides and so yeah so let's ask your spirit guides what what does your spirit team want you to know about your love life and you got the um, expand your horizons vast vistas and let's put this here so as you can see and the a time to give rather than take new moon in virgo and by the way we have a new moon i think tomorrow as i'm doing this reading i think tomorrow there's a new moon happening tomorrow at the time i'm doing this reading so take this as also a way of your guides giving you information about what you need to know about the new moon so whatever messages came through here are messages from the new moon energies okay <laughs> so in sync so expand your horizons and a time to give rather than take 
so the message that i i felt was coming through here with these two cards is that if you haven't already found out it's time for you to find out what your spiritual mission is here on earth and begin sharing your mission with the rest of the world see this page of wands it's time for you to figure out go on that solo journey to find out what your spiritual mission work is it can be it doesn't have to be a physical journey it can be an inward journey okay like this four of swords here so i don't want you guys to start buying airplane tickets to go to machu picchu to find no no no, no. <laughs> be reasonable anyway so it's time for you to find out what your spiritual mission here is on earth and begin sharing your mission with the rest of the world okay and if you already know what your spiritual mission is then your spirit team wants you to increase the time you spend working on this mission okay a time to give rather than take the reason they're advising you as so is because some of you are incessantly thinking about your love life because you are bored <laughs> you are bored okay you don't have anything substantial or meaningful to focus your attention on or dedicate your time to and so you end up subconsciously or maybe even even consciously yeah but i feel like it's more of a subconscious action you subconsciously spend too much time thinking about your love life but what you don't realize is that this incessant thinking about your love life is causing you to be excessively anxious okay and some of you are even starting to experience insomnia anxious and worried and so because of this you're starting to experience insomnia sleepless nights and perhaps probably that's why i felt really called to do this reading before sleeping i never do a reading before i sleep because it disturbs my sleep because the energies just keep on running through my mind the whole night i try and do them in the morning so by the time i go to sleep at night i've cleared that energy completely but for some reason i was so drawn to do this reading at night and i'm guessing it's because i'm picking up that energy of most of you experiencing sleepless nights okay which ends up affecting your ability to fully enjoy your life sleep is so important yeah the hormones that are released during sleep make us feel happy okay so in other words spirit can see that you're not as happy as you should be due to constantly worrying about your love life how your love life will unfold remember what i said here with the nine of swords yeah your habit of wanting to know how everything in your life will unfold is going to be your downfall on this journey to finding love okay it's causing you to have insomnia when you have insomnia then you're not happy when you're not happy then you won't embark on this journey to go and find out what your spiritual mission work is when you don't go on this journey to find out what your spiritual mission work is then you won't discover your twin flame because you, your twin flame and your spiritual mission work are interconnected okay and so the advice is one way for you to improve your health and increase your happiness so that you can be able to properly embark on this spiritual mission work you set out to embark on with your twin flame is by distracting yourself from constantly thinking about your love life and what better way to distract yourself than by focusing on your spiritual mission work yeah remember as i've said this spiritual mission work is what you and your twin flame set out to accomplish okay so your spirit guides want you to start your mission work as you wait for your twin flame to join you and rest assured that where, wherever your twin flame is wherever your secret partner is their spirit team their higher self is also pushing them to begin or continue focusing on this spiritual mission work you set out to accomplish together okay so this way both of you will have at least laid before meeting you'll have at least laid the groundwork meaning by the time you meet each other it will just be a matter of figuring out how to ex how to execute your already laid out plans okay so instead of pining and <laughs> this nine of swords card here instead of pining and yearning for your true love or your twin flame to come into your life or wondering when they'll come into your life right now your priority should be to figure out what your spiritual mission is and redirect all your attention to this mission okay because by the way this is another way of bringing your twin flame closer to you as i've said by focusing on your spiritual mission work you will simultaneously be manifesting your twin flame because this is a mission you two set out to achieve together okay so yeah and oh yeah and if you've already if you already know what your spiritual mission work is then spirit is saying it's time for you to increase your efforts by expanding your horizon okay meaning find 
find ways to make your spiritual work reach a wider context okay your soul family is out there looking for you and waiting for you to share your wisdom with them so stop playing it small some of you have been playing it too small okay just sharing your knowledge with a few people no your spirit guys want you to now expand your horizon share your knowledge with many 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 more people okay stop playing it small it's time to widen your scope okay <laughs> expand your horizons it is and for some of you maybe you're being even being told it's time for you to join some spiritual networking groups so that you can reach your soul from a wider reach of your soul family because funny enough you may just end up stumbling upon your twin flame within these spiritual networking groups that you're being to push to start okay or to join okay so oh gosh i think that is all i have for you today of of talked enough I even feel tired and sleepy and it's 45 minutes okay so i guess that is all i have for you today is there anything else i want to say no 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 that's it for today yeah so i hope the messages that came through are uplifting and have given you the courage you you need to continue on this challenging but rewarding spiritual journey don't give up on finding your secret love or twin flame okay don't give up there's there's blessings at the end of the journey okay And if you want to know more about this twin flame journey, please check out my other reading called Journey to Sacred Union: The Five Stages. It has two parts, and I'm sure you'll get some useful information there. Other than that, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I really appreciate it. Have a lovely week ahead, and see you in my next reading. Bye.